If you've got an old PlayStation 2, you should be used to be seeing this screen by now. What it is, PlayStation 2, once it gets older, laser starts to degrade, and, well, you've got to tweak it. I'm going to make a quick guide on showing you how to tweak this laser, so let's go. So, before we start, you're going to need a, I uh, forgot its name, screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, that's one. A terminal driver, just a skinny little straight one will do. A screwdriver, which I made myself for tweaking laser, and another terminal driver. Right, you're gonna need a flat surface to this with as well. So try and get some. I've just used a piece of what you call it shelving from a TV cabinet, as you can see. On PS2 you have eight screws which is here, 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 and here under some little covers which come off like so. And that's off. And then you've got some screws underneath there which you need to use your Phillips screwdriver to get them out with. And there's some long ones as you can see and some short ones so cue the time lapse and now you should have a disassembled PlayStation 2 I should probably point out that you'll have a warranty void sticker which I can go with. <laughs> lid comes off like so. But be careful, this is a little switch. So, to get this off, flick it up with your thumb, pull it out. And that is how to disassemble PlayStation 2. Now, this is where you're going to need your little terminal screwdriver. On the top of CD ROM driver is four little screws, one there, 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 and there. You need to take these out and then you'll get access to CD on drive. This is the last screw. These are really, really small, so don't lose them or you will die. There should be four. Yes, there should be four. Right, next will come off and you'll see the game which can go right now it's time to plug your PlayStation 2 back in I'll explain why the power back on you need to eject the tray and switch it back off and unplug this is what we'll be working on today there's two screws there and there which you use your terminal driver for so I should probably point out too that this screw is your angle screw for the laser it means that it just height at what laser is from CD by winding it in or out you want this as close to CD as you can without it touching now it's time to lift the laser out. The two screws, it should just go, and that's it. You'll have two metal rods, which should come out like so. And now, laser. As you can see, there's two potentiometers on the back. This one is DVD, obviously, and this one is CD. This is the unit we've been after, the laser unit. And these are what we'll be playing with today. These two potentiometers here. This one is for DVD, which is most PlayStation games. This one is for CD, which is like blue back discs, such as the best game ever, ever, which is blue backed. So. You want to be putting your screwdriver into the slot like so 
and twisting it clockwise for more gain or anti-clockwise for less gain more gain will make it will make the la laser have more power but burn out quicker but uh, less gain will make laser weaker and probably not read this at all so it's best to probably turn them a few degrees at a time assemble playstation back together and then try and read a disc it's just to, because if you go too far it can end up shortening length of laser by miles so once that's done you just need to assemble EP, reassemble EPS2 one good way to cheat instead of putting all the, the CD drive back together is to snap this little CD holder out as so and then once you've got your console back together this just magnets onto the top as so and it stops your disc from flying off which it's known to do we are to train now it's time to power your console back up to set the laser now it's probably a good idea while you've got it in pieces to go to version version options and turn diagnosis on and as soon as you put a disc in like so it'll run a short diagnostics on the laser and try and work out what's up so this just leave it for about five minutes or so and then come back to it then okay let's see what's going to happen after that adjustment Success. Yes. No spitting discs out. No, I'm just loading. So now it's time to reassemble your console. Cue the time lapse. Now I probably should point out that the long screws go to the back for, which is there, 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 and there, if it will ever go up, there, and the short screws go in at the front. So let's let's go. And there we have it. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks a lot. Adam out.